Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Casual Gamers Online. Ashley here, and today in this video, we're going to cover the new character that is dropped a few days ago, which is Xia Estelle. It's a character that is exclusive to Maple Story Mobile, and why it might be the best farmer in Maple Story Mobile. Okay, this character is exclusive class for Global S MSM, and is a magician class. And what it does, it does use a new weapon which is called the Celestial Light and also a new secondary weapon which is the compass so for this case okay this is one of the most complex class to play till now to date okay there's a lot of composition there's a lot of customization that you need to do in order to pull out the most damage for single target bosses or even farming uh the af or even sf maps so i can say that uh, today, I really like this character. It really is an awesome. I'll give it a 5 star farmer. And the link skill is super great. Okay, so let's take a look at the link skill, guys. So, if you go to the link skill, you can see uses the power of star flowers to increase final damage. So, for a Xtel, uh, Sia Xtel, at level 120, actually increase the final damage by 2% if you have it linked to your main character and the final damage buff with 10% the buff duration will be 10 seconds and every 60 seconds you will actually reactivate the buff itself so these 3 of stars will give your main character if you're using this as a sub character link skill a 2% final damage and including a final damage buff of 10 seconds every 60 seconds this is a very awesome link skill you must have so if you are not maining Sia Estelle this is the time to Hop on to Maple Story Mobile because they're going to have a burning event of 1 plus 2 during this period of time and bring it to level 120. You need to take me about a day or a day and a half to level it to level 120 in Star Force uh, 80. So guys, just remember to level this character. Let's hop on to the basic skills of this Star Estelle. Okay, uh, the first thing that you need to understand is Star Estelle has four basic skills that you need to know in order to activate the constellation skills. The first one will be the ray. This is the ray basic skills that you need to know. And level 30, we call it boom. Okay, this is an aerial target, has a target count of 5 and hit count of 2. And then uh the skill damage is 100 percent So this is boom. And then at level 60, you will have pull. Okay, another basic skill that you will have. Okay, has a skill damage of 150%. Target count of 3 and hit count of 2. Okay, and then enhanced bow's target will increase the target count, also increase the hit count as well. So this is the things that you need to know. And the last one will be Link. So guys, remember these four skills. Okay, Link is another skills. Okay, at target count of 10, HP recovery of 11% and whatnot. So if you enhance it, it's going to have a damage of additional uh, on forward. Now it's at 150%. If you level up to level 10, you'll definitely be higher than what you see now. So this is the four skills that I remember. Let me re re recap it. Okay, the first one is Ray. The second one is Boom. The third one is Pole. And the last one is Link. These four skills will activate the Constellation skill as follows. Okay, I'm not going to show the level 1 first, first tier job or the second tier job. Let's straight away hit into like the fourth tier job. Okay, uh, or maybe let's let's go to third tier. So let's look at this Stella Argo. This is one of the Constellation skill. When the Argo fusion is complete, he will be summoned to a location as a lizard, seeking out a nearby enemy to deal continuous damage. So how do you summon this Stella to Ergo, Elgo or Elgo, this is the lizard. So you're going to use a Stella fusion of boom, 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 boom. So if you use the uh, skills of boom, 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 which is the, this skill itself, use four time booms, you activate one Stella fusion. You need to have four Stella fusion in order to summon the constellation skill. Okay, let me put an example and show it to you guys and then see how it looks. So this is the boom skill. Uh, let me remove away this skill. Let me put in a boom skill. Look, let's sing a, uh, let's equip a boom skill. And you see four boom will activate this Stella Argo. So for currently here, you can see this is the mob here. One, two, three, four. Okay, one star. You see here one star, that means I already have one Stella Fusion. I need four of it to act activate the lizard. Okay, now two, and then, okay, four. So the lizard will be out. Lizard will be summoned to attack any monster nearby, you see? It's attacking the monster nearby. Okay, for how many seconds? For 15 seconds. Okay, for 15 seconds. This is how this constellation skill has been used. So now the lizard is attacking and then disappears. So after 15 seconds, it disappears. This is the skill set itself. So let's go back to here. Let's take away this and then equip back my this preset. 
and then let's go through the other things okay so this is how you activate a constellation skill okay by using the uh marking skill they call it marking skill okay this four mark skill you have to remember so we go to the next one pull and then you can see this is the stellar tree and this is the bell bellatrix okay bellatrix needs a ray ray boom pole okay and it will give you a buff duration of 60 seconds your magic damage with buff will increase by 15 seconds this is a self target so it's only used for own self and the starlight link reactivation cooldown to three seconds instead of the longer one so this skill itself is to give your buff a 15 percent magic damage buff to yourself same wise you need a ray ray boom pole to do to, to set it so how are you going to set it you go to preset skills at level 60 this will be preset for you already okay you'll be appearing like this purple one that means ray ray boom pole so this is the level 100 that means the fourth job skill uh mark skill which is pole so ray ray boom pole and you will activate this stellar bell bellatrix and then buff yourself for 15 percent and the attack skill for level 60 this is the formal formal hot this formal hot need to have a boom 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 pole which is the first one that i preset myself okay all you need to do is very simple okay uh preset let me okay let me show you how to preset this okay very simple go to the boom this is the boom you're gonna equip one two three boom 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 and then you have pole in order to activate you see this is say boom 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 pole you need a pole to activate so the pole here is the fourth skills that you need okay and i'm presetting it on the yellow one so what will happen is now if the yellow one is here i'm going to show you guys how it works so this is one one star i collected and then now let's collect the second stars and then third star and then four star okay guys you see this round round thing going around your body it's going to deal damage okay to the people attack it actually has a two target count of 100 so that is like 200 damage okay when it's rotating you can keep on using it so at any one time you can have four of these okay around you four now i have two let's activate the third one okay third one activated so now we activate the fourth one so you can just this simple skill itself you can see how great it is the buff is the duration is 40 percent. so now you have like four of these rotating among yourself okay among you and then damaging the monster it's like two hit count which is 200 percent damage per rotation when the thing hit so this is how the skill is activated okay very good this is the first magician that has double jump okay let's go back to the skill again okay it's still attacking right guys you can see the attack this will be like 60 seconds so it's a one minute rotation super awesome super long so let's go to the third one okay the third one we have the link skill which is the mark skill and then the stellar equalizer okay this stellar equalizer is very important this will maximize your damage output and including maximize the farming ability of this xia estelle so this equalizer you need to assign a constellation skill to the equalizer so by pressing the stellar equalizer button in the skill ui so it does activate on uh the good thing is it does activate on auto battle so only one constellation skill can be assigned at any one time and previously assigned constellation skill will be disabled so immediately the constellation activation so instead of co collecting the stellar grand fusion of the four stars that is needed to activate one constellation skill when you press this U ui it actually immediately activate the constellation skill okay be it the formal hall or isa or whatnot so it actually bypass the stellar fusion and to the assign immediately and then constellation is uh, activated right the stellar gram resets so the four stellar gram so at time when you're doing manual fighting and you find that you've, you you already used the wrong combo you can use this skill to activate the skill that you want and at the same time reset the stellar gram so that you won't have any confusion going on the bad thing is that the cooldown is like 120 seconds so you need two minutes for this skill to cool down but it's kind of insane because now you look at this skill itself i'm actually using this stella four skill which is the isa so the stellar fusion uh the stellar grand fusion is boom boom polling okay which you can see this is like boom boom polling uh the purple color uh preset four so the preset four is having boom boom polling and it actually activates this isa isa is someone who actually jumps out and then summon three flying blades around the enemy so when it, he, he came out that time the confusion is complete it does an aoe skill damage and then after the aoe you'll follow by three flying blades that will fly around 
and then attack single target with a hit count of 3. So imagine with 3 hit count, the skill damage of 275%, uh, they have a total of 800% damage for a single target count. But most likely this can be used for bossing and will be a main focus skill for bossing itself. But at the same time, it can be used for farming because it will actually deal a lot of damage and kill the mobs itself. Okay, though the dark gate count is only one, but the blade will keep on flying around as long as there's monster to kill. The bar duration is 10 seconds, so for the next 10 seconds, it actually can go around killing mobs. And the max attack count is 10 times, so the maximum it can attack is 10 times. And then for the burst itself, it's kind of insane because they have a hit count of 8, target count of 30, and have a skill damage of 315%. And that is almost like 2500% damage with the burst skill itself. So this can clear map anytime if you have good weapons and good damage. So this is the Sela Iza. And then also the Vega. Vega is another skill which is the Ray 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 Link. And then the Ray Ray Link, it will actually uh, cause a big burst. Okay, Eagle will come out and then have an AOE damage around. You can actually hit 15 target count. The hit count of 18 times 185%. So this is at level one. You can imagine if you, oh, this is like level two. So if you imagine, you put it up to level 10, there will be 200 over percent. And this is like 3000 over damage. This is a definitely a clear map farming skill. And the target count of 5, and then have a hit count of 3. The skill damage of 165%. This is the uh, protection that you have around yourself when this skill is activated. So in this Stella equi Equalizer, you can actually assign just like that. If I'm going to assign this, so this Isa will be taken off. And now I can activate Vega. So Vega will be this Stella Equalizer. So you can imagine today, if I go on and I click on this Equalizer, which is the this this one, the K. Okay, let me go down and then go down and show you how awesome this deal is. I activate and it straight away calls out the Eagle and do a map clear. And now I have a protection skill that is going around me. Okay. At the same time, I still can do my my Stella Fusion, okay, the Stella Fusion for the Vega. So Vega is Ray 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 Link. And on my Ray 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 Link is actually my green color preset number two. So if I go around and do this, I can do another activation. Okay, the thing will still activate. So, okay, this is one. Let me go up here and then do it. The damage to, oh no, I think I cast a wrong one. Okay, the fusion, I think is wrong. Okay, the fusion is correct. So here you can see. So I did another clear. So this rotation skill damage uh, protection around this character will be still buff again. And it does have another one minute. So you can imagine this is an awesome skill for farming. It's crazy. So you can keep on activating. So it takes how many seconds? If you guys see, it takes at less than 10 seconds to activate a clear map. If your character is like doing the damage all the way. And see, every 10 seconds, there will be a clear map skills coming out. So this is super awesome for farming. And then, of course, if today you want a rotation to ongoing, okay, you can use the Iza together with it. So I put auto battle on Iza and together with these skills. So you can see this is like, you keep on activating the clear map skills. So if you have a good weapon, if you are at SF 144, 168, 180, and then 190, this is an insane character to have for farming, including the AF, which is the Arcane Force. Force field. So this is insane. Okay, let's go into... Okay, let's reset. Okay, now I want to reset because you see I got two star above my head. I'm going to reset this. And then use the skill itself. And then I'll be buff at the same time. Also, our... The skill will have a countdown. So I'm going to change the, the skill itself. So this Stella Equalizer is super good. Okay, if you are farming, you can switch it to Vega. So every about 10 seconds, every 2 minutes, you will have an extra... Uh, punch off of Vega. So Vega will be summoned every two minutes because of Stella Equalizer on auto battle. So if today, if you are doing bossing, okay, you can just put the Stella Equalizer to Iza. So Iza will be the one that summons the plates off and then uh, the plate will kill the mobs around it. So I'm going to show you guys here. If I'm going to use Iza now, okay, that is my first Stella. Okay, second... So you, you can imagine how si this CI is so good at farming. So now you see, okay, Iza is out. Do a map clear and then you see three blades flying around to clear the mobs around. So you'll clear the mobs with a 10 hit count so you can hit 10 times and you can continue to do your Iza again. It's insane. 
So I do use it for like normal Zakum and solo it. It's super easy, super simple, and does a lot of damage as well, just using a unique weapon. So I really like this character a lot. So if you do an auto battle rotation, you'll just go on and then kill the mob. So he asked me what is the setup for the best farmer skill, so which is the Iza. Okay, so this is the activation of Iza. So boom boom uh pole link, which is Iza. So I'm having boom boom pole link, which is the Iza skill that is on my first rotation slot. And then I'm having the second one, which is the Vega. Vega, which is the Ray 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 Link on my third slot and followed by the uh, Equalizer. So every two minutes, the Equalizer will pump off a Vega with a protection surrounding of my own. Okay, the Vega will have a uh, gas wing protection around yourself, which is Starlight Wings. And then the Starlight Gust create the AoE damage and Starlight Wings will spin around you to do damage like 3 hit count or 5 targets like 165% at level 2. And this is the things that I have, a very simple three skill combo that I have. And of course the buff I'll be equipping on the pets and these are all giving buff to the party and including uh, the self-target buff as well. So this is the rotation I have and you can see it's super super awesome at farming in SF80. So if your equipment is good enough, if you're at uh, SF113, 144, okay, or 168, 180, this will be one of the top farming uh, character I would assume uh, for me. If anyone got any other comments, you can leave the comments below how you find your Xia Estelle. If those people who not who have not have start the whole thing, please take a look at this entire video, understand the basic of this and craft a customization that you feel better and you feel better than this farming skill, please put in the comments below and uh, let me know how to improve my farming. So basically now I really enjoy this setting that I'm having now. So if you guys can leave any comments below uh, if you have already started and you know the pro ways to set it up, just let me know. If not, I hope this uh, video will help the beginners who have not trained the Asya Estelle yet. And I'm sorry that this video come late because uh, the last few days the doctor has called me, my mom might not pull through. So I spent a lot of time with my mom. We even have a reunion day dinner when she's having a coma on her bed. Okay, so that she knows that we are there but she just can't open her eyes. So I hope that you guys can forgive me by throwing this too, too late out. I was supposed to come out this video on Saturday. I instead now already on Tuesday. I hope you guys can forgive me. I hope this video will help you guys. Do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't do so for more Maple Story Mobile. So once my parents start is settled again, I'll be back full force and more content for Maple Story Mobile and more content for other games as well. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you guys on the next video. Bye.